Welcome back to Pseudo Sergeant. Today I'm going to talk with you about distributions. If you're new to Linux and GNU, it's quite possible that you've realized there are many different distributions for you to choose from. Today, I'm going to talk about a few of them and why they're important. So I'm going to start by taking a look at the Linux family tree. I'm going to go all the way back to great, 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 great grandpa Linux and look at these two distributions on the list here. We have SLS, which is soft landing Linux, and MCC, which is from the Manchester Computing Center. I have never done anything with either of these distributions, nor do I know if they're even being maintained anymore. I just mentioned them to you for historical reference. Now, there are so many branches and different distributions that I can't possibly go into detail on all of them in this segment. However, I'm going to briefly mention three of them that I think are important. Debian, Slackware, and Fedora. Okay, the first of the three major distributions I'm gonna talk about is Debian. Debian is a great distribution on its own. However, it has been uh, adapted and branched out into different distributions. For example, Ubuntu. Ubuntu is really great because a lot of people use it as an introductory to Linux and GNU. Also, Raspbian. Raspbian is really great because it's designed for the Raspberry Pi and very well supported on the uh, raspberrypi.org community. So another important distribution of interest is Slackware. However, it has a shorter lineage. And honestly, I have never installed it or used it for anything. However, if you use Slackware, please leave a comment below and let us know about it. Another distribution is Red Hat. Red Hat's developed by the Red Hat company and has been very important in setting standards for Linux computing in the industry. Also, Red Hat brings us Fedora. Fedora is like the community edition of Red Hat. The next distribution I'm gonna talk with you about is Arch Linux. Arch Linux is important because it's different than the other distributions in that after having installed it a few times, a person will start to learn the inner workings of the operating system more so than the others because everything pretty much requires personal customization and enables a person to customize their entire operating system so they can compute the way they would like. All right, so I've shared a few different distributions with you, but I've barely even scratched the surface. In a future episode, I'm going to help you decide which distribution to use for your particular application. And that's all the time we have for this segment of the Pseudo Sergeant. If you'd like to see more, please visit us at element14.com forward slash TBHS.